if you ever want to take the extra step and actually scan with us and live patients in amazing locations, go to this website right up here. Check out these conferences we have. We have Castle Fest coming up and we have Cabo Fest after that. Check out the website. If it looks good, just register and look forward to seeing you there. Hello, this is Jacob Avila of 5 Minutes Sono, and we're going to do a cool Sono Bro. Uh, talk to you about a really cool case that we had a couple of months ago. Um, I'm joined here by the best mountain climber and uh, boulderer uh, that I know. Uh, Aaron Schneider is one of my third year residents. And um, Aaron, why don't you tell them about how this patient presented, this 35 year old male? Uh, so he came in with some right upper quadrant pain. It kind of went around uh, a little bit to his flank, to his side. Um, been going on uh, a little over a day hadn't had pain quite like this before and you know on exam he's pretty tender up there in the right upper quadrant uh, and then we went and got our ultrasound so this is our ultrasound right here and Aaron what is going on here what do we see so we see a stone uh, we've got some right shadowing right behind it mm -hmm. right there I like uh, it possibly a little distension of the gallbladder. I mm -hmm. uh, can't necessarily say that the wall is particularly thick, probably have to measure it out. Sure, sure. Um, he uh, did have some tenderness, you know, when we're pushing down with the ultrasound probe. Yep. Uh, potentially uh, positive Murphy's sonograph. Okay. Design. Yeah, so, I mean, on this image, just critiquing ourselves, I don't really have a good view of the neck here. So, this patient could definitely have cholecystitis. They have a stone here, distension. I don't see a lot of fluid around there. Um, so this to me is a little bit on the borderline side. This could be a patient that happens to have a gallstone but doesn't actually have uh, anything wrong with their gallbladder. But when we were done with this, we got back and we got the labs. And uh, what did the labs show? So we had a elevated lipase consistent with pancreatitis <laughs> and obviously the concern was that we had gallstone pancreatitis that's right so we just kind of we call surgery gallstone pancreatitis and we're done right if only it was so simple mm. uh we happen to have a uk special here <laughs> and uh this patient as we were scanning with our ultrasound we we noticed something enlarged in the background uh, mm -hmm. you're we, talking about this thing right here Yes, that that's part that's of weird. it. It's a bowel, right? That's definitely the bowel. That's a small bowel. Um, nothing to worry about. It's normal, right? I wish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh and on review systems, didn't you, uh, the patient say that they had a little bit of dysuria as well? Yeah, so he had some burning with urination. Usually chalk that up to some dehydration. Uh, didn't think a whole lot of it at the time. But as we scroll through our ultrasound, we are seeing hydro ureter, uh, pretty significant, I'd say moderate to severe hydronephrosis. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, so it's good. So over here we have the cortex, we have the pelvis here, and you can see that this ureter, let's move this out of the way, this ureter is actually so dilated, it's like backing up into here. And this image here, we actually can see that, I thought that was a blood vessel when I first saw it, but this is this poor patient's hydro ureter. So this patient not only had probable gallstone pancreatitis, also had a kidney stone causing hydronephrosis. So I had two issues. And I think what's important about that is to remember that patients can have whatever they want. I mean, a patient can have gallstone pancreatitis and hydroureter. Patients can have more than one complaint. They don't do the whole Occam's razor. There's not always a single thing that is the answer for that patient's problems. They can have more than one thing. Have you heard of Hickam's dictum before? I have. What is that? That's where it's kind of the opposite of Occam's razor. Occam's razor being... Mm -hmm. The one thing is going to explain is most likely to explain everything. Right. Um, whereas Hickam's dictum is uh, there's could be more than one thing going on, basically. That's right. That's right. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this cool sano, bro. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send me a tweet or an email. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Go to blog.5minutesano.com slash subscribe. Put in your name and your email address in the little text boxes and never miss another video.